Hello, goat lovers. <laughs> Cammy is in labor, and she actually has just one hoof sticking out her back end. She was not acting like she had too hard of contractions, but obviously I was wrong. Okay. Just a hug. Just a hug. What is this? These kids would be a tangled mess. Okay, that's a rib cage. Where's the other? Foot? I feel. I think this is back leg. Okay, girl, hold on. Okay, let's see, maybe that's... I can't tell if this is two kids trying to come out. Let's see. It is. Face towel, somebody? Okay, that was good front here, baby. Open it up for me, honey. Get her face. Okay. Should we just need the sucky? Fold it in half. Yeah, you know that's sucky. Good girl, Cammy. Alright. It's alright, it's alright. Good job, Mama. I'm coming. We got four. We're good. We're good. Hey. Come fit out. Come on, dude. There we go. All right, Cammy. I'm sorry, girl. Breathing. It's starting to cough. There we go. Yeah, come on. You got this, come on. There we go. All right, baby. Hey. Girl, you didn't even let us get the pine shavings down. It's okay. It's okay. Looky. Looky, Mama. Okay. Okay. Hey. You doing all right? It's a bug, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. It is a dough. Good girl. She was kind of just folded in half, and her head was kind of cocked back, too, so that was kind of not fun. Was it two kids, you think? No, she was just so finagled up in there, I just couldn't make sense of it for a minute, and then I realized, all right, that's a head, so I thought that leg was a back leg. She has a little bit bigger than an average-sized kid, but she definitely has more in there. Oh, yeah, she's... This kid here is not giant at all, so it's probably got three more in here. She's really big. 
Good job, Tammy. She's pretty. So this is Cammy's sixth kidding. And Cammy, even on her first labor, like she is that goat. They say once ligaments are gone, you'll see babies within 12 hours. And Cammy is that doe that that has most of the time not been the case. She always goes beyond the 12 hours. So, for the last couple of days, she's actually only had one ligament, and this morning, she didn't have any of them. Um, and she wasn't even having really, really hard contractions. I could tell she was uncomfortable by all means, but not up and down and pawing, and she's so big, she is having a little bit of trouble getting up and down for that matter, but... We moved her from the from the smaller birthing stall because she is so big and she's just she kind of likes it over here. We got her we got her separated from the rest of the herd and everything, but she just had more room to move around in here, and I wanted her to walk and uh, get those babies moving. If she's just in a small pen and so full, I just kind of was worried that they'd just get tangled up without her moving around. So anyway, during the day we've been putting her in here and. She's been, she just seems more comfortable in this bigger, larger pen here. So that's the scenario with that. So yeah, we just got done choring, <laughs> wet in the house, cleaning up with the milk and pills and everything. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna come back out and check her real quick. And I saw her licking up slime. And you got a contraction there, you push in. And so I just jumped in here and checked her back end. and. Saw that one hoovy sticking out, huh, girl? So Cammie loves to give quads and triplets. And uh, as well, take her sweet time. So this was very unexpected that she would be having these babies already. I figured we'd be out here all day with her and probably into the night. But she has had enough, huh, girl? She is the last kid, or the last doe to kid for our 2022 kidding season. And yeah, she just wanted to wait forever. And she is bred to Champ, who is our silent breeder. Uh, he never really lets you see the deed being done. So all you can do is just check the back end. And, and Cammy isn't too fond of Champ, so more than likely she just continued to try to get away from him, and eventually he finally got her, and got her pregnant, luckily. You're pretty. Yes, she is. Hi. That's a blue-eyed I, I, I think she's horned, yeah. She always makes me so nervous. If you guys remember just even last year, she just... Ligaments are there, ligaments are gone. Ligaments are there, ligaments are gone. And then it was like two weeks later she finally had her babies last year. Or maybe that was the year before. I'm lying, that was the year before. But last year she waited to be the very last doe also. And I believe it's because she just isn't too fond of champ. Hey, I know that was hard, but I want you to just brighten up a little, okay? No nappy nappy yet, sweetie. Thank you. So anyway, here we go, guys. Last doe. That's awesome. That little baby. So Cammie's sire is Lucky. And her dam is the full sister of Dawn. Um, however, uh, when Cammie was born, uh, her mom looked just like Daisy, as a matter of fact. Um, our doe Daisy, she was just black and white. And she had two does. And you're pushing. You're good. And Cammie's mom had two does. She had Cammie, and then she had another little doe that was black and white and looked just like her. 
Well, for whatever reason, Cammie was born first, and she just kind of sprung right up on her feet pretty much. She came out ready to run. Um, super strong little, little awesome doling. And her mom didn't like her. She just rejected her. Um, she took full attention to, to her little sister, but she didn't want anything to do with Cammie. So Cammie, actually, um, I had to take in and, and be Cammie's mama. And that's why she's named with a C after me, Crystal, instead of a D like her mom was. So anyway, that's the story with her, but we did get rid of her mom. Obviously she hasn't been in our herd for a long time. I didn't, I didn't like how she rejected Cammie like that and mom baby, but Cammie is a really good mom. And even her first kidding, she had four babies. The biggest udder ever. This one's not tangled, right Cammie? Good girl. Good girl. You're doing good. Is that baby talking to you? So it's been 30 minutes since Cammy had the first little baby. And she really has not been pushing hard at all, just a couple soft pushes. So I would have liked to see her have this baby by now. And as I mentioned, I'm kind of a little bit fearful that there's just a bunch of babies tangled up. I feel, you can just feel the babies bulging, these hard rocks. But yeah, she's, chock, even right here I feel a baby, chock full of babies. You can feel them on both sides. So, um, Nigees can have a lot of babies. They are very prone to have multiples in each birth, and some do it even worse than others. <laughs> but the more babies they have, the more opportunity for them to just not have enough room to, you know, be positioned properly, if you will. So sometimes they get tangled up, and I'm just hoping the rest of them aren't, but I don't know. So I've mentioned it before, um, some people, like, if you have to pull one, you're just going to go in and pull them all, and I, I just don't do that. I don't, I would rather her give her, ba you know, have her babies on her own if she can, because obviously that's better. It's extremely painful for you to be positioning kids in there. Um, so every time you go in, it's, it's really hard on them, if you will. So labor is hard enough when they're positioned right and coming out properly, so. But, since it's been 30 minutes, we'll, we'll just have to see. I might have to just go in and peek in a second and see what I feel. You're a little fluff ball. Your mama makes pretty babies. We've been very lucky with flies. And a couple of them have found Cammie since she's given birth. She has bagged up a lot too, so she's definitely gonna make enough. That's a push. A little one. She'll definitely make enough milk if she has quads. We have never had anything more than quads, so maybe she's got five in there. Who knows? She's big enough for four more. She, she definitely is. And just feeling them, I mean, you can just feel them all bulging. This is probably a little butt. Okay. Well, Kim's not really doing anything. I'm gonna make sure her teats are cleared because they get clogged. Look at how thick that colostrum is, you guys. My goodness. Okay, you're good. Oh, she's so pretty. And since when they suckle, it puts them into contractions when they're suckling on the udder. So let's see if we can make that happen for her. Here, baby. Right there. She's already trying to find it. Let's squeeze a little in there. Oh, there you go, there you go. See, contraction. 
And pushes. Good girl. Can we get you just a little closer? There we go. There, now this one. That's giving you a good contraction, isn't it, Cammie? Well, she thought she was starving half to death. You sure are gorgeous. She's bulging a little. She laid back down, but she's still not pushing. It's been about 40 minutes or so. And I'm just going to peek inside and see what I feel here. All right, let me see, girl. Okay, there's a bubble sack. All right. I feel something, but it's too far back for me to really... There we go. Let's see what this is. It... Feels... Can't tell. Feels like it's not positioned right or she would have got this kid out. That feels. Oh, it's so hard to do. I think it's breach. Do it with just one. Here, I got the other. Let's see. Oh gosh. Push it back just a little girl. Here we go. Took a good breath, good girl. It's all right. I got you. 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 You're good. You're good. Hey. Hi, pretty. Hello. You're okay. Good job. Oh. Get it out. Get it out. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. There we go. Well, I'd say girls don't usually cause problems like that. It's always the boys, but that's not her fault because there's so many in there, huh? Sweet little baby girl. Here, mama. It's hard, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Look at her, she's pretty. I don't think, thank you. I love you. 
There you go. There you go. Let's see how long it takes for the next one, huh? Jeez. Way to go out with a bang, Cammy. There's one here. Let's see, that's a baby. And there's one on this side. That baby's coughing out a storm. That's good, that's good. That's good. All right, so hopefully she has a little time between the next. And hopefully, now there's enough room in there that when she pushes, it all works out. So. So what'd you have to do? Hey guys, just wanted to let you know, if you head on over to our Etsy shop right now, you can get 10% off of all of our soaps. Just make sure to use the code BESTINSHOW at checkout, and it'll be good through May 16th of 2022. Well, she was a breach, so her back legs were just up under her belly, so I just had to kind of, and then of course she, her butt was like as far up in the canal as possible, so I had to push her back in and grab the feet. I could tell, I could feel the ribs, so I knew I had a body there, but I couldn't tell if it was a face or not. Like their back, their butt is really bony, so sometimes you can mistake that for a face. You just, I have to close my eyes myself. Um, and I have to tell you, the first time I assisted, I had no idea what the, what in the world I was feeling for. I just kept trying to go up the body and around it and just trying to find some legs or some feet or something that felt like a head. But honestly, when they're in there and all of that slime and all of that mucus and the mama's pushing, especially if there's babies behind it, because those are pushing too. You have to push them and all the other babies back. It, but anyway, the... The muzzle and the back end, if, if their legs are tucked under, you know, if you're not concentrating, so when you're nervous and you're scared, they can feel very similar. But, um, yeah, so I knew, I knew I felt the rib cage. I knew there was a body, so I was just trying to find where the feet were. And then, and then if you, yeah, at first I was like, those look like front feet but they weren't, so that's why I went back in and checked because I didn't want to help her pull out her front feet if the head was crooked back, because obviously that's not good position at all. But luckily, it was just positioning her back feet and getting them up so she was a little bit thinner and could come out. I don't even remember how many I guessed on Cammy. Probably four. Right, a bubble, something looking normal. It's only been eight minutes. She needs a little time in between. She's tuckered out, poor baby. She's working on a baby. You are the eight. Oh, she's so pretty. Come on, girl. That does not look like a baby sack. Kind of looks like the fluid sack. Oh, these flies went and told their friends, didn't they, Kimmy? They left for just I didn't even know the flies were out yet. That is a big, that's awful big for a fluid sack here, but I don't see it. Oh, okay, there's something in here. Man. Is it two sacks? It's like double sacked. Yeah, let's see. Jeez. It's a mermaid. That was super thick. I can't even tell. Um, can you push, girl? Let's get this baby out. Why well, you always gotta have mermaid babies, huh? That was a thick sack. Come on, girl. There we go. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. I mean, that was so, I know it came out backwards, but I couldn't really tell if it was breach or not. Did you guys tell? Uh, no, no, I couldn't tell. I could see it through the sack. 
Yeah. It's like a purple sack. Well, Here's... hello. Jeez, huh? There's a boy. Oof. I'm gonna be a little buckskin. There's number three, Mama. There you go. Wait a second. That's a doe. Is it? <laughs> That's another doe. Three for three? Oh my gosh, girl. Are you sure? Yeah. Just big teats? Her little, yeah, her little udder was just kind of balled up like she had a, a bigger udder. Like, you see that? Yeah. yeah wow. That's a doe. Goodness three gracious, Three in a row. Definitely at least. Oh man, I think. Maybe one on each side still. What? Ain't no way. There's no Maybe. way. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, she's having a contraction again, so. Getting that other one out now, girl? Push in. Oh. What? Who is that? And a kid. <laughs> yeah. It's actually kind of. Weird again. Just a bunch of fluid? Yep. So far. It's still butching. There's a hoof. Oh, great. One hoof, girl. You don't like to see it. Yep. What? Jeez, a, Louise. Looks like a front hoof. It is a front. Meaning. Let me help you. Okay. Let me pull that head. Hold on. Push that kid back in. Oh my gosh, that's a big head. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a big head. Okay, okay. Oh, shoot, girl. You gotta... Okay. Feel the spine. There's... Okay, this is not making sense. <laughs> There's a head. <laughs> Girl, I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's somersault this kid here. Gosh darn it. Like, like a giant, giant kid, or it's too. <sighs> okay, mom, I'm gonna give you a break. <sighs> Let me think. Okay, that was. Alright, I felt the spine. Okay, this kid is in there now. Okay, 
It's your feet, little kid. Here's one. Okay. There's one. I got a foot and a head. Let's see if we can get it with that. Those are front leaks. Why does that head keep doing that? Yes, man. Part it's that I can't. Okay. No, girl. Gosh, okay. Here's the face. Okay, here. Here, you're alive. You're alive. Okay. I have it. That's right, okay, Cammy. Okay, she looks okay. The little okay. baby's okay. Oh, you gotta be a boy, right? He is. Oh. oh, 
that's a girl. What? That's a boy, sorry. Okay. Cammy. Okay, you all right, Camus? You did it. Good job, Mom. Good job, Mom. You were trying to be my support team the whole time, weren't you? Oh, goodness. All right. Okay. Okay. Can you be done? Okay, other towel. Actually, she's like two kids. That was crazy. He's a little bigger than the rest of you. I don't even know. I bet you. Those were front legs, though. Yeah. Right? They were. I saw them. I saw kneecaps. There was no hawks. Front legs. I was going to say, maybe I was pulling the back legs, and that's why the head wasn't... He just wouldn't, and then she just kept pushing. So he kept moving his head back? Yeah, the head just kept getting folded back every time I'd get it forward. I just kept folding back. Had the goat been too big, or, I mean, it wasn't too big to go through the canal, I could tell that much, but it was like, I didn't need the lamb puller because I could get my hands on the animal. It just wouldn't keep its head forward. So... Okay, baby. Let me help Mama clean you guys up. <coughs> That's a good girl. Good lungs. Yeah, it's... I've been a little quiet in this. Okay. Gosh. <coughs> I'm glad you're the last girl this year, Mama. You did good. This is why I love bottle babies. Cammy was my baby, and she knows, even with her baby screaming, that I'm not doing nothing to you, huh? She's like, oh, hush, she's just helping. Huh? Yes. Hi. You got some nice big nachos. <laughs> she's just kidding. I know, I know. I know. Angry little kid. <laughs> All right, let me get the other one there. Come here, you're a big one. She is big. You are big. Hi. That was the second one, right? Yeah. You too, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see. Yes. You're the only one that ate Groucho. Hey. Looks potentially like he has an underbite. I've never seen that in our See that? I do see that. What is Whoa. that all about? 
Maybe it just has a bigger lip? That's only something I've ever read about. Is that bad? Yeah, that's... We couldn't read something like that. Do you see that? Yeah, so Boy. I'll have to make sure that he can eat. Probably will be able to, but... Well, what a bummer. What? You want to open it in his mouth? Take a look? Or is it just... It's just an underbite. Yeah. The jaw. Yeah, it's just back farther. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't be a herd sire. What a bummer. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. The more goats you breed, the more things you come across. That was the first for everything, right? Yeah. Finally. I mean, I'm just surprised you're alive after pulling that stunt, mister. To be quite honest. There was a sound he made. Yeah? Yeah, he, he has a pretty big tongue. Or over lip, too, you know? That's, yeah, the lip just kind of comes over, like if you see his little top jaw, his top plate. It's getting a little. Right there. See that? Oh, uh, yeah. Just yep. Fart. That's the teeth. Yep. You want this little dude? You're just angry, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Your eyes match your beautiful color. You're so pretty. You're getting hangry, aren't you? Yes. Give Mama a moment. She had a rough one. Mama. I know. You did good. There you go. There you go. Babies, Kimmy. Oh, it's a lot of babies. Oh, cutie. Usually they have a white pole. She's got a little black pole. <laughs> that is cool. She's a beautiful girl. She's like, I'm like almost a full day older than you guys. Like 30 minutes. She said, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Man. She really wanted me to work for this uh, last labor. Didn't you, Mama? You're so tired. Emily, you get me that jump start. I'm gonna give her some jump start. Chock full of vitamin A and other vitamins and minerals that give them a lot of energy. Help them with digestion. Plus some, yep, microorganisms also that'll help with digestion. Here, Mama. Usually they want it when it's. Yeah. Want that? Okay, miss. All right, let me just. There you go, baby. Trust me. They sure are pretty. Cammy doesn't have a problem with making pretty babies. <laughs> I see Champ did not put any moon spots on anybody though. This girl looks like she's got a moon spot right there. What are you talking about? That's just her roaming. She's a buckskin. You have a pretty flashy face though. It's little stuff. You are a stuff. curious bee. You're a big one. Were you eating all the food? Sure was. Hi, buddy. 
You're grounded for acting like that, okay? You are grounded. Time out, mister. All right, you guys. So, last labor of 2022. It was not the easiest labor, as you guys saw. Um, but in the end, it all turned out really well. In the end, so... Luckily, this is not my first time I've ever had to assist because that could have that could have got scary Well, that was scary for me actually, but again in the end it all turned out wonderful Cammie's still she's, she's pretty beat She is wore out. So I'm just gonna get her up on her feet here shortly Make sure all of these babies get to eat so three does and a buckling is what Cammie had and that's that's pretty cool she is our overachiever, as I said, so really, really happy. Obviously, Champ is the one who decides the sex, so... But they're big, they're healthy, and it was no wonder she was so large. You guys, and they're just getting really, really hangry. <laughs> All right, I'll help your mama. All right, so... That's what we're gonna do guys. Get her on her feet, make sure they eat, and then I'll cut their umbilical cords and leave mama to be. She's gonna need some rest. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you again soon. So before you start thinking you want some goats really bad, you guys, just take a look at this. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Not always pretty.